The final day of the 2021 FIM International Six Days of Enduro saw the riders tackle a special motocross-style test in the Valle Scrivia area of the Lombardia region of Italy. The sole test of the event which saw mass starts and the riders racing together in a pack. Although by and large the results were already settled after day five, the potential for retirements was still fairly high and the top names would have to be quick but careful, although thankfully no one came to any major grief. Team USA had dominated the Women's World Trophy for the second staging in succession, with Brandy Richards in an unassailable lead after day five. The final test of the event would see Richards quickly clear away in front from the start. The remainder of the test seeing a stirring battle between Team Spain's Miria Badia and USA's Rachel Guttish, which was settled by an error from the latter. The loss of momentum allowing Badia to move through, but it was all for second place as Richards flew to victory by almost 20 seconds. The celebrations could start in earnest for Team USA following a devastating ride by Brandy Richards. The Americans finishing over 45 seconds clear of Team Spain in the overall classification, with Team Great Britain completing the podium finishes. Oh, we are just absolutely stoked. It's, it's pretty unreal to come here and uh, win again, you know, defending our title and just have such an amazing week. And, and we all did such a great, great job and we couldn't be more proud. The squad of Richards, Guttich and Brittany Galeos were justifiably proud of their achievements and are already eager to return and attempt the hat-trick in 2022. The main World Trophy category saw the large entry split into three separate Enduros around the circuit. The first of them saw a very busy first term, with Team Portugal's Luis Oliveira taking the initial lead, but he would soon lose out to Team Sweden's Mikael Persson and Team USA's Jonathan Giroir. Italian duo Davide Guarnieri and Andrea Verona gave chase for the side all set to win the World Trophy, but the leading pair were well clear. Despite Giroir's best efforts, he could not catch Persson, who won this first Enduro by just over a second. With three of the top six in the classification, however, the Italians continued to display their prowess on home soil as they continued their march towards the World Trophy. Giuseppe Garcia was the pre-race favourite in the second Enduro, but this time the flying Spaniard would not have things all his own way. USA and Italian teams set the early pace and it was eventually Dante Oliveira who broke clear for the former squad with the Spanish duo of Garcia and Bernard Cortez having to fight their way through the lower reaches of the top ten. Riders from Canada, the Czech Republic and Belgium were also well involved in the midfield scrap along with Thomas Aldrati of Italy but there was no stopping Oliveira who took the flag almost three seconds clear of a determined Garcia who had finally broken clear of the pack. The result was enough to confirm a jubilant Garcia as the individual overall winner, with fifth for Oldrati confirming him in the individual top ten and further cementing Team Italy's World Trophy victory. Tyler Medaglia could take pride in a third place for Canada here, but it was Oliveira's victory for Team USA. In the third enduro, Team Spain's duo of Jaume Betria and Mark Sands were rapidly away from the start and soon battling with American Ryan Sipes. The latter would swap the lead with Betria as Jared Stock chased for Team Canada, only to slip back later on. The Spaniards and Americans enjoyed a spirited battle with some spectacular style on display. Eventually it was Betria who would come out on top ahead of Sipes by just over a second in a very enjoyable race. The biggest cheer however was reserved for the man in third place as Matteo Cavallo took the flag to confirm Team Italy as World Trophy winners for 2021.
the result sparking wild scenes amongst the hosts and their fans as they took their first title since back in 2007. Behind the top three, Sands pulled off another good finish for Spain ahead of Christoph Kubel of the Czech Republic, while the top ten for Anton Lundgren kept Team Sweden in the leading places. There was more cause for celebration for Team Italy as they also won the Junior World Trophy, over eight minutes clear of Team France in the final results with Team Sweden completing the podium. Uh, siamo molto contenti. Uh, We're champions. We are really happy after a very good but very long race and we'd like to thank everyone very much for all their support this week. The public and the world. Thank you. The results capped off a wonderful week for Team Italy. The squad of Lorenzo Macorito, Manolo Morettini and Matteo Pavoni proving that the Italians will be at the sharp end of international enduro competition for many years to come. In the World Trophy classification, Team Italy finished almost five seconds clear of Spain in second, with 2019 title holders Team USA completing the podium over three minutes further back. Sweden, the only other side to get near the podium finishers. È stata una grande soddisfazione per me come per tutti. Devo ringraziare tutti. We are extremely happy. We finished today and we won the title. We must send all our congratulations to all the Italian crew and all the team members for doing an amazing job for us. Grazie a Thomas perché è andato forte fino alla fine insieme a me e siamo riusciti a portare a casa questa grande vittoria. The squad of Andrea Verona, Davide Graneri, Thomas Aldrati and Matteo Cavallo can certainly take pride in their achievements, crowning a hugely impressive week on home turf for Team Italy in the 2021 International Six Days Enduro.